Now, today, the rescuers who made sure every passenger, every crew member got off that plane and out of the Hudson River alive and in fairly good condition were able to speak about their harrowing experience yesterday. Tales of heroism far and wide. And CBS 2's Catherine Brown has their story. From miracle on the Hudson to heroes of the Hudson. I said, holy cow, man overboard. Captain Vincent Lombardi was the first to delicately guide his New York waterway commuter ferry to the crash site as passengers balanced on the wings, knee deep in icy water. Today, he showed us how his crew was able to haul dozens of passengers to safety with a rescue device called the Jason's Cradle. Some passengers were able to use it as a ladder. They were on the life rafts and they were standing on the wing. Others, like the woman with two broken legs or the mother and baby aboard, used it as a basket. They were asking us to help them. They were cold. Before Coast Guard crews could even arrive, ferry boats rescued nearly every passenger, bringing them aboard and wrapping them in coats and blankets that ferry passengers instantly gave up. Last to climb on board, the plane's pilot. He was very calm. He was a little bit stunned, but, you know, we got business done. Waterway crews train for these types of emergencies at least once a month. But even so, one of this magnitude was anything but routine. And then the lady with the broken legs, they brought her on the ferry, and that was... Rescuer Rosabla Rendon credits Captain Lombardi and her fellow crewmates with good training and quick action that helped turn misfortune into a miracle. On the West Side, Catherine Brown, CBS 2 News.